good day Tinkercad friends I am back and we have got a lesson that is better than ever so let's get into that create new design button and let's get cracking step one of course is to name it and we are gonna make the greatest pumpkin ever so you can put greatest pumpkin or you can just put pumpkin that is up to you but just get that named and press enter we are going to build our pumpkin with the sphere. When you grab the sphere, bring it out, and we're going to type its numbers. We're going to type 30 for its width, and if you press tab, it moves to the other side, and we're going to make it 60, and press enter. We're going to take its height, and we're going to make it 60 as well. Since it's a pumpkin, we should pick an orange color, but you are on your own if you want to do something different. The next step is the magical duplicate. Make sure you do your control D or click this duplicate button once and then use the rotate and rotate close to the shape so you can use the long lines and we only want to go one tick mark or 22.5 degrees. Don't touch anything else and if you do control D again and again and again you will instantly have your beautiful pumpkin shape. Grab your entire pumpkin and group it so that it's one piece. I don't want my pumpkin to be perfectly round, so now that it's grouped, I'm going to squish it just a little. I want to cut out my pumpkin, and I'm going to do that in a magical way. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate my entire pumpkin. I'm going to pull it aside. I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to shrink it down just a little, then make it a hole. I want to align my new piece inside the other pumpkin. So I'm going to simply grab them both, click the amazing align tool, and I want to center it on the X, I want to center it on the Y, and I'm going to center it on the Z. When I grab that entire project now and I hit group, the inside of my pumpkin is cut out, and I'm going to prove that to you in just a moment. Tinkercad has so many amazing pieces to play with. You're going to be able to do this in your own fashion, but check out the technique I'm going to use. I've got my work plane facing at me, so this is going to be the front, and I'm going to use a roof for an eye. I'm going to drop the roof on the ground. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to get it lined up on the X, and then remember my pumpkin, it's 50 high. So I want my eye to be like 35 or 40 high. So I am going to just grab the cone and lift it to Wackadoodleville. And then I'm going to type the 35 for how high I think I want my eye. If I like it, I'm good. Then I just need to push it back in. And I can do that with the arrow keys because my work plane was still set here. When I've got my eye pushed in, I'm going to do Control D and I can move the other eye across to the other side. As I look at these, I think I want them a little lower, so I'm gonna do shift click so that I've got both of them selected, and then I'm gonna use the handle again to move it down. That was not, I got the rotation instead of the cone. Once again, I'm gonna move down a lot, and then I'm gonna change it to 30 so that it goes exactly where I want. And now I'm gonna pull them towards me so they cut out, and then here's where I prove that our pumpkin was hollow. When I group that, you can see I've got awesome little eyes looking inside my pumpkin. Let's see if we can whip up a scary smile for our pumpkin and let's do that with the amazing scribble tool. Bring out a scribble and set it down and then draw the scary mouth that you wanna add. So I'm going to have a gap, a tooth, a gap, a tooth, a gap, a tooth. And then I'm going to bring it down, and then I want a tooth on the bottom, and a tooth on the bottom, and a tooth on the bottom. And I'm learning with you. I'm not going to guarantee that this will work, but it seems to make sense to me. And then I want to cut all of that out. I'm going to do that with the cool shape tool. You can see I'm doing it in fast speed, but you can get the premise of how I do it and get yours done quickly as well. All right, so now I've got my cutout where it's going to leave these teeth. Let's hit done. 
let's look at where we are in our project we're gonna have to turn that into a hole we're gonna have to turn it the other direction so I'm rotating it 90 degrees once again if I keep my mouse close to the shape it uses the long tick marks and we want it at 90 degrees if we come out away from my shape see how my mouse is way out here then it does not snap to the lines anymore I'm gonna make this nice and thick so I'm sure it cuts in I'm gonna look at it from the side and decide if I want to make my mouth a little skinnier I want my mouth centered so I'm gonna grab the two pieces and I'm going to align them that's on the x-axis and then I'm gonna use the arrow key to push my mouth into my pumpkin I'm gonna look at them from the front and let's lift that mouth up and see if we're gonna like where it goes looks like I pushed it in too far but I can just use the arrow keys to pull it out I think it's gonna cut out those teeth pretty nifty but I think it's too fat so I'm gonna just shrink it down so it's a little less fat and I think I'm just gonna stretch it wider so I'm sure it cuts in lift it up a little bit and it's moment of truth time friends let's select and group and see how cool the mouth looks oh look at that we have got teeth scary pumpkin built I'm gonna bust out scribble one more time to make the cool stem once again when we drop scribble down we just draw the stem my stem is gonna look like this because they're kind of always a little wackadoodle looks like I accidentally bumped a piece so I'll show you that erase tool in case you forgot about it and then I'm gonna fill it in I could have done this the entire time but I always forget to draw with the shape tool ahead of time but this works pretty well for me and I've got my nifty pumpkin stem in just a mere moments let's hit done let's make it green let's zoom out so we can take a look at where our pumpkins at you can see that's a pretty nifty shape we just need to rotate it so it's standing up and then move it into place I remember that my projects 50 high so I'm gonna lift it wackadoodle and I'm gonna type 48 because I want to sink it in just a little I'm gonna grab both parts and I'm gonna do a line and we want to center it on the Y and we want to center it on the X my pumpkin stem may be just a little bit large but that's where I can hit fit view to selection and I can just use the little black handles to shrink it into the sizes I want I'm gonna zoom to home take a look from the front corner or the front and I'm really happy with my pumpkin but I'm gonna do one more thing so that I can make this actually printable and that is gonna to be to give it a flat bottom I need you to make it 1.5 millimeters thick and we are gonna slice off the bottom of our pumpkin so that the part is flat and it's got a nice space to build from when it prints see how that's gonna sit on the printer I'm gonna grab the entire pumpkin and I'm gonna group it and once I group it I'm gonna turn on the multicolor because now he doesn't look quite as gorgeous yes there's a pun there and I'm gonna hit D to drop him down on the board alright friends so I am gonna stop here uh, there is so much more you can add you can go to the characters and add cool parts you can make your own cool parts you can cut out so many areas you can put words on them and cut out boo I've given you given you the skills now it's your job to see just how epic your greatest pumpkin ever can be. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this movie awesome, please click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you have a question or comment, please add it down below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new beautiful movie from HL Montech, click that notification bell. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, friends.